Hello everyone. My name is Allison Burton and I'm the programmer for the North Adams Library. Now, our theme for today is feelings. So, I'm going to start with a rhyme called These Are Some Emotions. Happy, proud, surprised, and sad. Anxious, calm, excited, mad. Upset, shocked, confused, and glad. These are some emotions. Lonely, thankful, safe, and shy. Nervous, silly, terrified. Cheerful, fearful, sometimes tearful. These are some emotions. Now, our first book for today is The Boy with Big, Big Feelings. Written by Brittany Wynn Lee, illustrated by Jacob Sova, and published by Beaming Books. Copyright 2019. There once was a boy with feathery hair and a heart that was bursting with feeling. His emotions seemed bigger than everyone else's, and sometimes they made him go reeling. When playing outside on the yellowest days, a loud truck might rumble on by. And wouldn't you know it, that big heart of his would push feelings right out of his eyes. At night, when the shadows would form on the walls and fear would steal all of his rest, those feelings of his made it so hard to breathe as they jumped up and down on his chest. Sometimes when his play had to come to an end, or when things didn't go as he'd planned, the feelings would run down the length of his arms and clench when they got to his hands. He felt happy feelings as big as the others, from tickles in hide-and-go-seek and jokes and races and stories and songs that made feelings glow from his cheeks. Beautiful things would stick in his brain and not leave him for hours and hours. The fur of a dog, a fluffy white cloud, his mama, a banjo, some flowers. But when someone he loved had a very hard day, he'd feel he'd been over-equipped to feel all their feelings as deeply as they, which would quiver right out of his lip. He wondered, why me? Why this big, giant heart in a world that's so heavy and kind? where all of the feelings under the sun feel as if they were made to be mine. So the boy tried to stuff all his feelings deep down to control what he thought he should hide, afraid that the others would make fun of him if they saw all he felt deep inside. Would they think he was weak, dramatic, afraid? Would they call him a wimp or a baby? If they saw the big thumping heart in his chest, would they not want to play with him, maybe? But while swinging one day, feeling oh so alone, he noticed a girl feeling blue 
He marveled, what's that? Could it be? Yes, indeed. Her emotions were extra big, too. Are you okay? The boy asked the girl. I'm fine. Just, sometimes I get sad. He said, you do? Hey, I get sad, too. I get scared and silly and mad. The two became pals who shared their big hearts, not feeling they had to pretend. When they needed to cry or to laugh big and loud, since feelings had helped make them friends. And soon they noticed there were other big hearts in the classroom, the playground, the bus. And they smiled as they learned that it wasn't just them. Big emotions affect all of us. The boy and his friends slowly felt less alone with the feelings that lived deep inside them. Emotions might feel big and scary sometimes, but that is no reason to hide them. The end. Now, our next book for today is Have You Filled a Bucket Today? Written by Carol McLeod, illustrated by David Messing, and published by Fern Press. Copyright 2006. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full. And you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket and other people need you to fill theirs. So, how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things that make others feel special. When you make someone feel special, you are filling a bucket. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that make others feel bad. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. 
you feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. You could tell your grandpa that you like to spend time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So, why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of each day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. The end. Now, an activity you can do to go along with these books is make your own kindness rocks, like these. So, the first thing you'll need to do is find some rocks that are big enough for you to write on. Next, you'll have to wash them off with some clean water. Once they're dry, you can paint them whatever color you like. Once that paint dries, you'll take a marker or a paintbrush and write something kind on them, like dream or smile. You can even draw something nice on them, like a butterfly. Once you're finished, you can place your rocks around your house or your neighborhood, any place people will see them. That way, you can help spread kindness. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and stay healthy.